Well, the good news is creating captions for your videos in Descript has never been easier. They've given you some templates that you can use right out of the box, or you can adjust them for your own colors, your own branding, your own preferences. But the best part is you can save all of your preferences for how you want your captions and subtitles to look so that adding them to all of your future projects is as easy as literally the click of a button. So let's dive into this. As with most of my Descript tutorials, I highly encourage you to open up your timeline so that you can see what's happening in your actual video edit. And if you come down here to the right hand side, you're going to find the captions option. And with that, you're going to see a whole list of pre-designed captions. These allow you to effectively burn your captions into your video, meaning if I select one of these, it's going to take all of the transcript and apply these captions to the entire video. Um, yes, they are tilted on purpose. This one has this karaoke style effect where the word that I'm saying is the one that is being highlighted. And you can see down here at the bottom in the timeline, you can see that we have this captions track on the timeline, that's the captions track. It sort of shows up just like you added a picture or a background music or even some B-roll or something, and you can move it around, you can change it. We will edit these captions and the style in just a minute because I want to show you how to add captions step by step. So you can see that when you have the captions menu open, you have this option to apply the captions to all of the scenes in your video or just this scene that you're working on. So let's just say, for example, I have this one little spot in my video here. This is a scene and maybe I only want captions to show up just for this one little spot. I can choose to add captions just to that one little spot by making sure that I have apply to this scene selected. So let's choose this one here and you can see what happened. It added that captions track just to that section, just to where I have the scene. And alternatively, if you do want it to be across your whole entire video, then you wanna make sure that you select all scenes up here and it will apply to your whole entire video. But since we're gonna play around with this, I wanna keep it just in my one little section here. So we have the track down here on the timeline. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can actually see my frame. And with the caption track selected, I could move this around. I could put it wherever I want it to go. Usually captions are down in the lower third of the video. That's not really a rule. It's just something that we usually what we see. No judgment if you want to move it somewhere else. But with this, you have the opportunity to select the font that you want to use. So if you wanted to change to something maybe that fit your branding, or if you have a custom font or a font that you use for your branding that is not by default inside of Descript, you can actually upload a font to Descript and use that in your project. So I'm not going to go through the steps of that right now, but just know that is an option. You're not just stuck with the fonts that Descript provides to you. And depending on the font that you choose, you have, you know, regular, italic, bold, you might even have lots of different options for how bold you want to get. So like if you choose open sans, for example, you have light, you have italic, you have medium, semi-bold, extra bold. Extra bold is really chunky. I really like that one. And then you have the font size. One of my favorite little sort of hidden features of Descript is that if I want to change the font size. You could double click this and put in any number that you want. Or if you just hover over the number, click and drag your mouse left or right, you can actually change it a lot easier. Now we definitely want to adjust the colors, but let me just open up our effects panel over here because I want you to see uh, like how the color settings actually work with the captions. Because if you come down here under style where it says custom and choose the settings, you notice that it automatically is going to fill 
the word, the active word that I'm saying on the screen with yellow. And it's gonna do that automatically if I select yellow as my active word fill color. If I change it to this purple color, then it's obviously gonna be purple. And not only can you change the color of the active word, you can actually change the color of the future words that haven't come out of my mouth yet and change the the rest of the words, the, the words that have already come out of my mouth. So for example, we have this fill over here. This is gonna be the default fill color. So let me just make this like, uh, well, yeah, we'll make this like a dark gray color, okay? So you can see, I already said the word and that, now I'm actively saying the word really, so the active, word is purple, just like my settings show. But the words I haven't said yet are future words, which are gonna show up as white. So I've taken a caption style that Descript already created for me and adjusted it to my branding or my preferences so that it fits my style and it fits my brand, right? You can also sort of see, it's a little hard, but you can see that there is, there's actually a border <laughs> Well, now we can't see it at all. There's actually a border around all of these letters. And because of the font that I chose, the border's like running over each other. So I'm just going to slide my little slider over here down. So I'm going to, it's still gonna have a border, but it's gonna be a little bit more of a thinner border. And I don't really love the way that looks with the blue, but it'll work for, for what we're doing. Uh, maybe black would work. It's just that the black is kind of hard to see because I'm wearing black in the video. But I like the style of this. And if I were to decide that down here later on in the video, I want to use captions again, and I come back to the captions over here on the right-hand side and choose the same exact style, it's gonna go back to that default Descript style. And I don't want that. So how can I reuse the same style with the purple active word and the black border. Well, you're gonna notice up here in the top left, we have our scene rail and it's hard to see. I wish the script would do this a little bit better, but the there is a gray kind of box around this second scene. That's the scene that we are currently in. And if I right click on it and choose save scene as new layout, it's going to take this scene, which has the captions in it, that the, the captions are part of the scene, and it's going to let me save the scene, which means it's saving the layout, saving the style of that scene so that I can reuse it again in the future. So over here on the right, I'm gonna give this a name. We'll just call it purple active. Word. It's going to save to my VBA podcast template pack. That's fine. And then choose add. Now it's telling me right down here, it's adding this layout to my layout pack, which means if I want to use that style caption, I'm not going to go to the captions section of Descript. I'm going to go to the scene section of Descript find the layout pack that I have saved for myself. And there we go, it's right there. The little thumbnail over here is still populating, but it added my saved layout scene with those captions exactly the way that I styled them directly to the scene that I'm currently working on. Now, the good news is your layout packs work from project to project. So I could record a whole video right now and just throw these styled captions that I customized for myself into any project within my Descript account. And while I think starting with Descript's pre-designed captions and then editing them to be your own is probably the easiest way to go. You might wanna just start from scratch. And so to do that, you would come up here to elements, choose any of these, you could just hit text. It's going to add text to your screen like as if you are creating a title screen or you know a lower third or just whatever. But if you hit the three little dots over here in 
that uh, text editing menu and you come up here to free form, you can choose captions as an option that's automatically going to detect what's happening in the transcript and put the words on the screen. So you can see this is going to require me to uh, really make some adjustments here. Like I need this to be wider. So I'm just going to extend this out and I'm going to move this down here on my screen, it's still centered, so that's good. So let's go through some of the settings that I'm gonna need to know. So I already have this selected as captions. We have another setting over here where we have active speaker selected. Now I am the only speaker on this video that I am editing. Opacity is at 100%, but let's just say that you wanted them to be like not quite as bold on your screen. We could change the opacity pretty easily. You have size and position. You could rotate them if you wanted to be silly. We have the font weight, which you can also change over here. So we have the font name, we have the font weight, we have like, yes, we want this to be centered. But you notice that as I'm speaking, nothing is really changing in the text, like the text changes to the next caption, right? To the next phrase, but but it doesn't give me that karaoke effect where the active word is, you know, highlighted in a different color. And where we do that is under style. So style is set to classic. Let's just come up here and change this to, let's do karaoke style. So automatically by default, it has the word to selected because that's the active word right there in the transcript. And I actually like the way this looks. I like the way, um, let me just make this 100%. I like that the words I said are going to be full 100% opacity, but the words coming up down here, the future words are actually a little bit on the transparent side. So you could even bring them down a little bit more. And I kind of like the way that looks. I also like the way that the fill color of the active text is actually the same, but it's the background that is changing when the word changes. That's cool. I like that. I might want to change like the color of that background. But other than that, I kind of I kind of like that. So again, if I wanted to reuse this style treatment of my captions, I would want to come over here and right click, save this scene as a new layout, and I can save it to that same template pack again, give it another name so I have another branded captions uh, layout design template. <laughs> what is it called? A, a layout is what it's called that I can choose from for my next video without having to go in and make all of these edits every single time I want to add captions. There is a visual effects uh, panel here. So we could turn on the shadow if we wanted to. That kind of messes with the transparency. Some other visual effects that we could add is blur. Oh, that's cool. We could blur out I don't know why you would want to do that, but that's interesting. Coming back up to our custom style, let me just edit these settings because I noticed that we selected karaoke and then edited the karaoke from there. But what is the clean setting look like? Oh, okay, so the words just don't show up at all until the word is said. Okay, so that's that's interesting, that's cool. I have a couple of other tips to share, like what happens when Descript mistranscribes your word and it completely ruins your captions on screen. But I wanna remind you that this is just one video in a series of Descript videos here on my channel. So if you want to get better at using Descript, if you wanna get faster at editing your videos in Descript and just learn more ins and outs, tips and tricks and all of the features 
members of Descript, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I also have a Descript cheat sheet that you can grab for free down in the description below this video. Now let's fix our caption here because it would be kind of embarrassing if your captions on the screen were misspelled or if it was like the completely wrong word or especially if it was like a completely inappropriate word, for example. So how do we fix this? Well, the captions are dynamic based on what is happening in the transcript, right? So it's not like you can come in here and just like double click and change this word. It's not like a regular text box. So you have to change the word in the transcript. And full disclosure, Descript did actually transcribe the word just fine. It's the word time. I came in here and changed it so that I would have a way to show you how to correct it. So I have the word selected here in the transcript. I'm just going to come up to correct. We're gonna change it to time. We're gonna hit correct. Now let's just say, I don't want that comma in there. Like it kind of just messes with my vibe. So I could come in here and select this whole thing, hit correct, or I might even be able to hit delete on the transcript here and it will, yeah, it's gone. So it got rid of the comma for me. If you like this video and you want more Descript lessons, let me know down in the comments because this is just part of a longer series here on my channel. So make sure you hit subscribe so you get all of the rest of my Descript tutorials coming your way and grab my Descript cheat sheet that I put down in the description as well.